Happy first day of fall. To celebrate, I thought we could talk about one of my favorite things ever, fall lip products. And I do have a lot, but I tried to edit myself down a little bit, so I have my top 10 fall lip products. And they're gonna be a lot of rosy mauve neutrals because that is my favorite. But I'm gonna put all those together so you can see them in a row, and then maybe you can find the one that's the right finish or right tone for you. I also have some reds, a purple, a deep dark vampy shade as well as a nude. And then I have some conventional lipsticks, natural luxury drugstore and everything in between. So I think it's a pretty good mix and I wanna go ahead and start out with the red tone ones. Up first I have Max Dubonnet, which is my favorite underrated MAC lipstick. And I'm not sure why I don't hear more people talking about this because I think it would be really flattering on a lot of different skin tones. Instead of being a really cool red or warm red, it has more of a brown undertone, so really flattering. It's deeper, so it's perfect for cooler weather, and as an amplified finish, it has a ton of pigment. On the lips, it has a little bit of a sheen, which I think is really pretty, and it wears off really well. So I love to pull this one out this time of year. This second one, while still red in tone, is much easier to wear. So if you're someone who wants to get into red lipstick, but you don't want all the maintenance of that perfected red lip, I think this is a great stepping stone because it's somewhere right in the middle. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Walk of Shame. It's a red berry. It is so beautiful on the lips. This is my first time trying one of her matte formulas, and I am blown away. Such a nice formula. My lips are so dry, yet I'm often drawn to the look of matte lips, but by the end of the day, my lips look terrible, really lined and dry. This one goes on so smooth, and when I press my lips together throughout the day, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a matte lipstick, so I love that. I also think the bullet, how it's cut, is very unusual, but it makes application super easy. And of course, the packaging is beautiful, especially if you're into rose gold. There is a luxury price tag that comes attached to this. I ordered off of Beautylish, and I was also interested in the shade Bond Girl, but it was out of stock at the time I ordered this. So I think when it comes back in stock, I like this one so much, I think I'm gonna get that one. I pinned on Pinterest a little a picture of every single one of the lipsticks swatched on a lady's mouth, and they're all gorgeous. So if you're interested in this line, I will link that Pinterest pin down below. The last one in my red category is Red Apple Lipsticks Firecracker, and this is much more orange than the other two. And while this one came out in their summer collection, I think it's still perfect for fall because I don't know about you, but this like red color really reminds me of changing leaves. The Red Apple Lipstick formula is so incredibly nourishing and moisturizing. It almost feels like a balm, yet you're still getting this beautiful color. Speaking of lip products that feel like balms, let me tell you what's on my lips right now. This is from Gressa, and it's their Lip Boost in the shade Regal, and I love this one so much. It has amazing ingredients like mango butter and shea butter. The color comes in a little bit, in a little bit, in a little pot, and the color is, I would describe this as a raisin. I have it on very lightly today, but you can definitely build this up and layer it up so it's much deeper, and I really like to wear this with a spicy colored liner underneath. That's how I've been wearing it, but I wanted to show it to you today just so you could see the true color, but such a nice formula. So if you have really dry lips, I would recommend the Lip Boost and the Red Apple Lipsticks. Moving into berries, both berry colors I'm gonna show you today are from Bite Beauty, and I'm sure you saw that coming that you weren't gonna get through this video without at least a couple Bite products because they make my favorite lipstick. So both of these are from the new limited edition Frozen Berries collection. This first one is Barberry, and this is gonna be the most purple toned one that I show you today. This one, every time I put it on, I just find it so brightening. My skin looks brighter, a little bit more clear and even toned, so it's really, really flattering. And I love how it looks on its own. Just the day I bought this, I also bought the Opal Lip Gloss, which this is supposed to be a transformer. It doesn't even really look white, it just leaves an opalescence on top of whatever lip product you put it on top of. And it's really cool, and it does kind of change the lipstick underneath, and I love how it looks on top of Barberry. The other lipstick I bought from the Frozen Berries collection is Black Cherry, and this is the vampy shade that I've been loving lately. It's an incredibly intense oxblood, and it looks so beautiful, fully applied and really perfected with a lip brush, but I also like just to dot it in and blend it in with my finger and use it more as a stain. And I did that in a recent video, and I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head, but I'll link it down below. So if you wanna see what it looks like lightly applied, you can see that, but it's really a gorgeous shade. And right before I started filming, I looked this up, and this one is currently out of stock on Sephora.com, but these have been coming in and out of stock. But just in case, something very similar is 
NARS Ingrid. And I'm actually not seeing NARS Ingrid in store because it's one that Sephora doesn't carry, but from what I can see online, the colors of Ingrid and Black Cherry are very similar. So that's just another option. And then if you're doing any kind of fall time smoky eye, you need a really good nude to complement it. And lately I've been reaching for the matte cream lip crayon from Bite Beauty in the shade Amaretto. And it's right here, so it's a nude, but it has some peachiness to it. I bought this because I was trying to recreate a look I saw on Pinterest, and I don't have a lot of nude lipstick because they don't look that fantastic on me. But I bought this to recreate that look, and I ended up really liking it. And if I just want a matte lip, I will leave this as is. And what's nice about these lip crayons is they can be really precise, and they do have a sharpener on the bottom, so you don't feel like you need a lip liner underneath. But if I want it to be glossy, I like pairing it with the Bite Gloss in Guava. This is a deluxe sample size I got at Christmas time last year, but I think you can buy the full size, but these are very sticky. So if you don't like a sticky gloss, but I think the color of guava is gorgeous and it looks beautiful on top of amaretto. Okay, I have three rosy mauve neutrals to finish out this video. And the first is a favorite from last year that I'm very happy to be bringing back out. This is the Maybelline Matte Lipstick in 660 Touch of Spice. And I still think that this is the best lipstick formula I've ever tried from the drugstore. And the color is just perfection. Every time I put this on, I just think it's perfect. And if I get any messages from people saying, hey, I'm a redhead, what lipstick or colors would you recommend for me? I usually include Touch of Spice. So I think this would be good on a lot of different people, but especially if you're a redhead, I think this color is gorgeous. And then I've recently been getting into Jane Iredell and they just came out with these new Play On Lip Crayons. And I have the shade Luscious. So I swatched that right underneath of Touch of Spice. You can see that they're both in the same color family, but Luscious, instead of being more mauve, this one has more brown to it. And it's also a different finish. This one has a little bit of a shine. So if you don't like a matte lipstick formula, I think Luscious would be the perfect fall neutral. I've mentioned a couple times in this video that I have very dry lips, so clearly I know this, yet I'll get onto Instagram and I'll see these lip posts of these girls who have perfectly shaped lips with no lines on them whatsoever, and they'll be lip swatching matte liquid lipsticks. So I fall in love with the color and then I run out and go buy it thinking it's gonna look like that on me and it never does. I feel like this, they just kind of like suck all the life out of my lips in the first couple minutes and it looks terrible and I would never go out like that. So I've had some hits and misses with different brands. There are colors I love and sometimes I like them on me, sometimes I don't. So I just kind of thought, you know, maybe I'm just a person who needs more of a moisturizing formula. So I kind of wrote those off. But a couple weeks ago, I was spending the night at my gam's house and the CVS by her has the best biggest beauty section. So I'm just going up and down and I found a full display of the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. And the shade I bought is 03 Beloved, which is right here. So it goes on almost kind of glossy, but it dries down immediately. And while it is very matte, I don't think it makes my lips look really dry. It's actually kind of nice looking on the lips. So if you're someone who wanted to try out a matte liquid lipstick, but you're not sure if you're gonna like them, getting one that's really nice from the drugstore is awesome because if you don't like it, you're not out a ton of money, and I think you actually might really like this. The only thing I'll say is that the scent is really powerful, and it smells like birthday cake icing, so you might love that. I actually don't mind it that much, but it is pretty powerful. It goes away really quickly. So if you've been wanting to try matte liquid lipsticks and maybe something like Lolita from Kat Von D is always sold out, try the Milani one and just see if you like it. Here's all the swatches, starting with Max Dubonnet. Charlotte Tilbury Walk of Shame, Firecracker from Red Apple Lipstick, Regal from Gressa. This right here is the Milani Matte Liquid Lipstick in Beloved. And then on the other side, Bite Beauty Barbary, Bite Beauty Black Cherry, Bite Beauty Amaretto, and then Maybelline Touch of Spice and Jane Iredell Luscious. That is all for my top 10 fall lip products and I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I do still wanna to talk to you about other fall makeup, so I might do a dedicated video or get ready with me or do one of the fall tags that's going around that I can talk to you about blush and eyeshadow, things like that. But thank you so much as always for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again very soon.